All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> I clipped this out of a live stream I did, but uh, this camera stopped recording for some reason. So I'm going to do it again. Um, I wanted to show you one of the best exercises that I've come across um, that can help you drill your keys and start to memorize the fretboard and your keys a lot better and a lot faster. And this is a, like when I first started doing this, it was just a giant pain, and it's still kind of a pain. I'm not great at it, but it's helped me memorize the fretboard a lot better. And uh, the first place I heard of this, I'm just pulling up um, uh, the PDF of all of the major keys that I have for you. I'll leave a link to this. It's a great kind of aid in going through this. The first time I heard of this, um, I had been doing a little, uh, like a simpler variation on this. Uh, it's a lot easier than I wanted to show you. But I heard Jeff Coleman talk about this and I was like, what? That sounds like a pain. I don't want to do that. But what you're basically doing is going through and playing a 6251 or a 36251 uh, in every major key. So, like, say you start in the key of C major, play 36251 in key of C major in this position, and then go to the next key, either up in the cycle of uh, fourths or fifths, go whichever way you want. So, you start off in the key of C major, and then go to the key of G and start the exact same thing over. But I did one little variation on this because. I wanted to make it a little more interesting for myself. Instead of doing just a three, six, two, five, one, I did um, a six, start on the one, and then go to a six, three, four, one, two, five, one. Six, three, four, one, two, five, one. Because it's the chords uh, for the Jack Jackson 5 tune, I want you back. So I, I thought that was fun, and I really like that song. I like that chord progression. So basically, start C major. Start in C major just because it's a nice neutral starting point, right? Pretty easy. One, six, three, E minor, four, F major seven, one, C major seven, then two, D minor seven, five, G seven, C major seven, back to one. that tune and you'll hear it uh, on the song on the course at the end of the course it's that progression six three four one two five one but do that and that's that's kind of like what I, the version I did of this exercise for a long time uh, all I'll do with uh, seventh arpeggios because I like the sound of so there's the one three sorry six then three four back to the one Right, so that's one position C major, all of the diatonic chords except for the seven, which I really I did not use a lot because I'm not related to jazz. And then what I would do, or what I started to do, was like go to the next position for C and do the same thing. So one, six. same chord progression up in the next chordal position for C major and go to the next chord position for C major which would be right here and do the exact same thing go to that chord progression starting there then do it starting here too so all the way up the neck and that's really like caged shape driven while drilling your keys at the same time now the variation on this that I heard Jeff Coleman say that he did was he would do like a three six two five one and whatever key he started in, C major, and then, so for example, this chord progression. Right? And then you'd go to the next key in the cycle of fourths or fifths, whichever way you want to go. In this case, let's go up uh, a fifth to the key of G major, one sharp, right? So start there on the G major seven, or just G major if you want to, and go through that exact same progression in the key of G major. So what's the sixth chord in the key of G major? So, so E minor. And what's the three chords in B minor? C major seven is a four chord. 
G major seven, back to the one, two, A minor seven, five, D seven. And you can do that with arpeggios too. It's great for like art. For rhythm and lead guitar, it's awesome. But just drilling your keys and after that, go to the next key in the cycle of fifths, which is D major seven, right? So D major seven is one, six, B minor seven, F minor, F sharp, sorry, F sharp minor seven, for the three. Then for the major seven, sorry, the major four chord, G major. Two is an E minor, then A7 for the five chord, and back to D. And then just keep doing the same thing, go to the next key in the cycle of fifths, which would be an A, and do the same thing. Then C, C minor 7, C sharp minor 7, D major 7. Keep doing the same thing for every uh, key, major key, go through all the cycles. You can start at the bottom, you know, of your cycle of fifths and go all the way through them, or work backwards, whichever way you want with the fourth. It's good to mix it up. But like if I did that on Monday in this position, starting with C, I would use the next day as my starting point is this C and do the same thing, go through all the major keys using that chord progression. Um, again, I have uh, this PDF for you and it is tough at first let me tell you but i feel like i since i've been doing this i'm no the guitar uh fretboard a lot better and uh, i know my major keys a lot better so it's really worth digging into see it